Part 2. Azure Moon. Pegasus Moon. Valley of Torment. Having repelled the Imperial Vanguard, the Kingdom must now supplement its meager forces. And so it requests reinforcements from Rodrigue, who is busy resisting Cornelia's army in Fraldarius territory. I received a reply from my father. You should read it too. Gilbert has filled me in on the details. He tells me you are in immediate need of additional troops. I would like to say that I will gather reinforcements and send them to the monastery at once. However, I cannot afford to leave the front lines for that long. Would you be willing to meet us south of Fraldaria's territory in ALL, the Valley of Torment? ALL is halfway between the monastery and our territory. There, I will deliver the soldiers you require. ALL lies on the border between Kingdom Territory and Alliance Territory. Humans dare not approach that place. He's right. In ALL, we can meet up with them without our enemy ever finding out. Once my old man delivers his soldiers to us, then our war against the Empire can finally begin. The path ahead will be a difficult one, Your Highness. Deadly, in all likelihood. True. But what's the point in wavering now? Father, stepmother, Glenn, and even to do. I am certain this will bring them great joy. I know if I can just offer them Edelgard's head. I just know it. Halel, the Valley of Torment. Can you help me? Last five years, Lord Roderick worried for His Highness more than any other. But I wonder what he would say if he saw what has become of Dimitri. 
I have a request. These past five, but I will. Yes. Nice job. I appreciate any good meal, but not I'm s Whatever it takes. I was just stronger. Burn until we meet again. Just stronger. Let's finish this. Don't bother haunting me. This one? Thank you. Please come again.
Um. This one? Thank you. Please come again. Professor? No. Professor. I'm not sure. It looks like that wasn't. I think I've got the idea.
How best to you? Uh -huh. Age is but I suppose it seems my pro this will help keep technique never. the moments I live for. I don't understand you. You again? Can't you see I'm busy? Trust me, I didn't mean to interrupt. So how did you like the cake? I bet you ate it, didn't you? I knew it was irresistible. What was the experience like? I'm curious, from a research perspective. I don't know, I didn't eat it. I gave it to some kid. You... Gave it to some undeserving child? We've been over this. I don't like sweets. Cake is not a sweet. Cake is the divine essence of the heavens. Everyone has their own tastes. That's true. But life without cake is no life at all. Your dismissiveness regarding cake is inexcusable. I'm not sure why you're so fixated on this. I simply can't resist the spongy magnificence of cakes. I don't understand how you can be so dispassionate about it. I don't know. I just don't like it. Just try a bite. Come on, open up. No, I already told you I don't want it. But I made this one. With care and attention. Love, even. Uh, and I went light on the sugar, just for you. Not light enough, I bet. If I eat this, will you stop bothering me? More or less. Just don't give it to some silly child this time. Let's get this over with. Gorgeous. You're looking lovely today. Join me on a stroll around town. Aw, is a sweet girl like you doing all this hard work by yourself? That's no good. Allow me to help. Hi. Oh, hey, Leone. Sorry, but I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Hey, hey, get back here. Whoa, no need to yell. Do you need something? You chat up all the girls like that, don't you? What a terrible thing to say. I see a girl. I figure it would be rude just to pass her by without at least a wink or a nice word. But you knew that. So I'm going to get going now. See you, Leone. Wait, now hold on. How come it's not rude for you to just pass me by? Me? Pass who now? Look at me. I'm a girl, you know. Uh... Oh, I see. A girl. You're a girl. Huh. Sorry. I know it's true in theory, but it looks like my brain just didn't want to accept it. But you're correct. You are a beautiful girl in your own right. Yes, that is a statement with which I agree. I am ever so terribly sorry for being so rude, my lady. How can I ever make this up to you? Uh, hang on, back up. Don't get the wrong idea. 
Seriously, I feel just dreadful about how I acted. This is the first time I've done anything like this. It's shocking that I'm capable of such low behavior. Even if you are a somewhat crude, I mean, spirited girl, that doesn't excuse my... What did you just call me? R right, of course. I'm sorry. I can't believe I was so thoughtless. Hey! Acting pitiful won't get you anywhere. I won't just forget about this, you know. So much fun. Listen to. This is my favorite dish. Eating alone. Father! Father! Why do you pretend not to recognize me? Annette, I... I've been looking everywhere for you. Please stop treating me like a stranger. I can't bear it. <sighs> Wait! How long will you keep avoiding me like this? I have lost the right to face you or your mother. This has nothing to do with rights. We're family. I'm your daughter. Indeed, you are my daughter. Yet I am no father. I am only a fool who abandoned his family. You really think it was foolish to abandon us? I do. Then the least you can do is apologize. I'm fine, but Mother deserves as much. I finished my studies at the School of Sorcery and the Officer's Academy. I have a busy and satisfying life now. But Mother... She's waited for you to return all this time, living under my uncle's roof. I... I am sorry, Annette. I already told you. Don't say that to me. Apologize to Mother. Let her see your face. That I cannot do. I know you do not understand. But it is the way of things. As for you, Annette, say the word, and I will disappear from your life forever. For now, though, I must return to my duties. Father, how could you be so cruel? <laughs> Bye. 
Thank you. Pretty good job. I'm a quick study. My future is bright. I passed? Well done, me. I am grateful 